you a quote by Martin Luther King Jr. And he talks about being the best at whatever you decide to do in life, doing it to the best of your ability. He goes on to say, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. Are you doing your job that well? Are we doing what we need to do on this earth as well as Martin Luther King Jr. described that that sweet streeper should do his job? See, God has called us to a place of excellence. He's called us to do everything unto him, not unto man. There's a scripture in the Bible in Colossians 3, 23 through verse 24. That I want to read this to you. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to man, knowing that from the Lord you will receive your reward of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Are we doing everything that we can in life to serve God? Are we serving our family the way that we would serve God? Are we working for our employer? That's a hard one sometimes. Are we working for our employer, doing our job at our W-2, our nine to five, as if we were doing it unto the Lord? Or, or are we going in there half-heartedly saying, I hate this guy, I hate this job, I don't even wanna be here. I'm just gonna do barely enough so that I don't get fired. I'm just gonna do just enough so that I'm not noticed. I'm gonna do just enough so that nobody sees me and I'll kinda just blend in like a chameleon does so that I can just do my job make my money, go home, pay my bills, sleep, and then go back to the job again. Guys, we were made for more than this. Have you ever had this thought that you just get up, go to work, pay bills, go back to bed, get up, go to work, pay bills, and it's rinse and repeat? Have you ever had this thought that you were made for more than this? I get that thought often, guys. And so many times we get caught up in the routine of life. We get caught up in just working to pay the bills or just working to fund our lifestyle that we forget the small moments that matter. Recently, it was my twin boy's birthday and I took some time out to take him fishing with a friend and I sat back and I looked at them and I said, wow, so often I get caught up in grinding, 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 grinding to live this life that I truly desire and desire to give to my family that sometimes I forget to spend a little extra time with my kids. I forget to spend a little extra time, even the small moments, even the, the brief moments. I forget to be present in those moments. I took my kids fish and I stepped back and I was like, wow, this is a beautiful moment. Even if we were only there for an hour because I had other appointments to run. I was there in that moment, not on my phone, not trying to schedule appointments, not replying to emails, but just there with my kids, trying to be the best dad that I could be, trying to do it as if I'm doing it unto the Lord. Are you being the best parent that you could be? Are you being the best son, the best daughter, the best neighbor? Are you being the best employee? Are you being the best business owner that you could be? Ask yourself that. Sit back today after you watch this video and reflect on your life. Are you being so caught up in building that dream and building that life that you're actually forgetting to live that life? Now, I don't want you to regret the time that you have in 20 years from now. I want you to look at this time and build it, keeping in mind that we're doing it all unto the Lord. I wanna finish with this. There's a book called Redeeming Your Time by Jordan Rayner. It's an amazing book. I'm in the first chapter of it. And uh, there's some practical application, but he goes on and speaks about William Wilberforce. William Wilberforce had a moment in his life where he turned to Christ. Up until that point, it was grinding to make money and to build wealth. But he says, in the days following his conversion, check this out, William Wilberforce grieved over how he spent his first 26 years on this earth. 
One of his journal entries reads this. I condemned myself for having wasted my precious time and opportunities and talents. But Wilberforce didn't grieve long, for he was determined to redeem whatever time he had left to work on behalf of God's agenda rather than his. What are you guys doing today to further and expand the kingdom of God? Again, we'll just repeat that last scripture in Colossians 3.23. And whatever you do, brethren, do it heartily as if you do it unto the Lord, not unto man, knowing that from the Lord you will receive your reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope this video brought some clarity to you. I hope it inspired you to start to live outside of just your own self, but live unto the Lord and to be the best dang street sweeper that you can possibly be so that all the hosts in heaven and earth will pause and say, here lived a great street sweeper that did his job well, make sure you follow, subscribe, click that thumbs up, share this video with a friend, and until the next video, make sure you live well, laugh louder, and learn to be a better you. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.